A lot of people have been wondering about what has happened to the campus's undergraduate library at the corner of Volunteer Boulevard and Andy Holt Avenue. At that location, construction is underway on a $25 million building to house UTK's new main library. Completion is expected in 1986. But what of undergraduate library services in the meantime? A campus celebrity will help us find the answer. During the past 15 years, going to the undergraduate library became something of a tradition at UT Knoxville for either recreation, study, or research. Recent visitors to the library have been surprised to discover this. A little looking around is all that's required to track down the library. It's just across Andy Holt Avenue, disguised as the well-known Humanities and Social Sciences building. Hey there, buddy. What you looking for? I think you need to ask for help at the reference desk. It's down the hall and the second open door on your right. Back anytime you need help. Bye. Well, hi. I haven't seen you since we moved over to the Humanities Building. Can I help you with anything today? Oh, you need something on dog nutrition or dog foods? Hmm. I think we have some dog encyclopedias that might help you. We'll look in here and see. Yes, here's a chapter on dog food and dog nutrition. It's certainly enough to get you started. We might want to look for some books in the card catalog, too. So let's go over here and see what we can find over in the catalog. It looks like there's some good books listed here on dog foods. In order to find them, you can just use this finding guide. Look at the call numbers on the cards and then match them to the finding guide. It looks like most of these books will be on aisle 16. Now, I think you need some magazine articles, so let's go over here to the magazine index and see what we can find. Here's the magazine index, which will list articles by subject from about 400 magazines. Let's see if there's anything on dogs. Yes, here's dogs, and here's even some more specific articles on dog food and dog nutrition. I'd say there's about 30 articles listed here. Now, in order to find these magazines in the UT libraries, you need to look in something called the Serials Holdings List. You can look up the name of your magazine in here, and it will give you the call number for the magazine, and also tell you what libraries hold that certain magazine. In order to find them in the undergraduate library, you can go across the hall to the periodicals department, and they'll be glad to help you find them on the shelf. Through that door to your right. Hi there. Which ones are you looking for? Oh. Well, there's that one. Let's see. Oh. There's another one. Mm, oh, and here's one more. I can't find the other one, but you can ask about it when you check these out. See you later.
help you? <coughs> Prevention and Newsweek. Do you need older issues or recent issues? <coughs> well, Newsweek is right behind you in our bound periodical section, and Prevention is on microfilm right over there. They're shelved by call number. <coughs> Would you like to make copies? I'll show you how. The film's all ready. Do you have a dime? There you go. Oh, hello there, fellow. Looking for a good book? I think there's one here that you like. It's called Shakespeare's Doll. Bye now. Hope you enjoy it. Hey, buddy, you want to check those out? All I need to see is your UTID card or a borrower's card. Thanks. Okay, let's see what you got. The Thinking Dog's Man. The more I see of men, don't call a man a dog. And Shakespeare's dog. You've got some good reading there, partner. Couldn't find one? I'll just check for a second and see if it's on our computer. Well, I hate to tell you, that one's on reserve over at the other part of our library at Dunford Hall. I know, it's a dog's life, isn't it? Well, here you go. They're doing two weeks. May I help you? <coughs> oh, they told you the book was on reserve and you've already got the call number. Okay, you need to take that call number and go right over there to the stacks and that book will be right there. Hello there. I'm taking the library's audio tape tour. Have you tried it? Well, you really should. It's a great way to relearn your way around the new library. It takes only about a half an hour. You want to take it with me? Well, give it a try when you get a chance. Well, you need some help? Yeah, sure. I'll be glad to help you get it. Well, here it is. I've got to go to the Humanities Building to finish the tour. 
You be sure to see the non-print section before you leave. Oh, so you'd like to check it out. Let's see. That's on two-hour loan. That means that a professor has put things on reserve for his class so everybody can read them. Well, I guess this means you'll have to come back later when you've got two hours. Okay? So, you finally tracked us down. Now, let me guess. You want to watch the usual. Ah. I thought so. Need your ID. Okay. Uh, you'll be in Carol number 32. Oh, hi there. You ought to see this. It's the deer hunter. Almost as good as Lassie Come Home. Care to join me? No? Okay. Even though the undergraduate library is in temporary quarters, its services are still available at two locations. Humanities and Social Sciences Building, and Dunford Hall. Although somewhat crowded, it continues to be open for use along with UT's other libraries. And remember, it's open not just for UT students, faculty, and staff, but also for the general public. Everyone is welcome, except dogs. Sorry, pal. 